Hey, good morning everybody. <clears throat> Here we are. We got just another great day to get our day kicked off right with another dose of God's Word. This morning I want to look at uh, something that Jesus talks about over in Mark, the third chapter. He talks about the blasphemy of the Spirit or sometimes as the unforgivable or the unpardonable sin. But what does that mean? I mean, what is that referring to? Well, let's see what we can find out here. Mark chapter 3 and in verse 28, Jesus says, Surely I say to you, all sins will be forgiven the sons of men and whatever blasphemies they may utter. But he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is subject to eternal condemnation. Now, this word blasphemy is a very interesting word. Here's something, you know, when we read that word, there's certain things that just automatically, you know, come into mind as it's just, a, you know, wickedness and, you know, those types of things. But the word blasphemy is is part of the family that of words that deals with lying and twisting of words and rejecting of those things and altering um, what has been said. So with that in mind, think about what Jesus is saying. He says, uh, blasphemy against the Spirit. So the Spirit has revealed the Word. Uh, Jesus said that's what the Spirit was going to do for the, for the apostles in John uh, chapter 16 and verse 13. It says, when He, the Helper, the Holy Spirit comes, He will guide you into all truth. He will teach you all things and bring to remembrance all things that I've ever said to you. So whenever we read the Bible, it's the Word of the Spirit. The Spirit is telling us in these letters and in this written form. And so when we come along and we don't agree with what the Spirit says, what are we saying? What well, we're technically, we are blaspheming the Spirit. We're saying, well, I don't believe what you say, Spirit. I don't believe that I have to be baptized to be saved. Although that's what the Spirit said. I don't believe that there is only Spirit. I don't believe, Spirit, that there's only one church. Spirit, I don't believe that I have to be perfect. Spirit, I don't believe that I have to attend the assemblies. Spirit, I don't believe that I have to read my Bible and study it. You see, we could just go on and on all day long. But when you go back and you look up that word blasphemy, you'll see what I'm telling you is the truth. It's, it's connected with lying and twisting and perverting or just outright rejecting what someone says. And so here we have the word of the Spirit. We have the sword of the Spirit, Paul referred to in, in Galatians chapter 6. We have the sword of the Spirit. <clears throat> and so when we read what the Spirit has said, and then we come back and say, well, I just don't believe that. What we're doing is we're blaspheming the Spirit. We're saying, Spirit, you're lying. I don't believe you. And as long as we are in that frame of mind, we can never be forgiven. When the Spirit said, uh, told Peter and the apostles on the day of Pentecost, repent and be baptized. That's why I don't believe that. Well, guess what? You're never going to have forgiveness. When the Spirit said by the hands of Paul that there's one body, meaning that there's one church. Well, I don't believe that. I believe just one church is as good as another. Well, as long as you believe that, you can never have the forgiveness of sins. When the Spirit, by the hand of Paul, said that we are to sing and make melody in our heart, Colossians 3, 16, Ephesians 5, 19, and then we come on and say, well, I just don't believe that Spirit. I think I believe that we can have musical instruments. You can never have a forgiveness of sins. Folks may be saying that's awful judgmental. I'm just saying that's what the Bible says. And that's what this word means, blasphemy. Is a rejecting, is a twisting, is a perverting, and saying uh, the opposite of what the Spirit has actually said, in essence, calling him a liar. If I don't believe what the Spirit says, there's no way that I can ever have the forgiveness of sins, as long as that is my mindset. I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to let you think on that for a while. Mark chapter 3, verses 28 and 29. Look at word at blasphemy. Think about the things that we said. Think about this text. Hey, I hope you have a great day. Get back in your Bible, study it, meditate upon these things, and come to a knowledge of the truth. And Lord willing, tomorrow we'll get back and we'll get us another dose of God's Word. And I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you then.